Halloween is finally here and with that I transformed my entire gaming setup. Last year I really didn't get into the Halloween spirit but this time it's going to be completely different. Before we start working on the setup this is how it's currently looking as you guys can see it's a little bit messy right now but I kind of have none of the RGB lights on at all and I just usually go for the blue color scheme on my setup but today we're going to go for more of like a purple to orange color scheme to just match the Halloween theme. About a week ago I went ahead and bought a bunch of different lights for this video. We have some floodlights, LED strips, this is a Halloween like um, neon sign and we have a bunch of other stuff too. Before we start setting up those LED lights we're gonna start off by doing the easiest thing so as you guys can see there's a lot of blue in my room I went ahead and turned on like all the LED lights and everything I have in my room and I usually go for the blue color scheme clearly as you guys can see but I'm just gonna change them real quick to more of like an orange to purple color scheme it shouldn't be too hard and I'll show you guys how it looks so far. Just like that the setup looks a lot more Halloween themed of course the wallpapers played a big like role in it I just kind of got some wallpapers from wallpaper engine i'm probably going to change them later in the video but for now this will work i got some purple backdrop and this i don't really know what color i'm going to change it to maybe some kind of orange like the little light behind my desk i also need to change the mouse pad and the keyboard and change these lights to make it more halloween themed i really want to change my mouse pad and my keyboard especially just to make it match the halloween theme a little bit more i don't really have too many red mouse pads but i'm just going to find one that looks the closest i can to like a halloween kind of purple orange or red theme so yeah, I'll see what I can do. I think this matches a Halloween setup a lot more. Again, I didn't really have like a Halloween themed mouse pad. And something else I also did add was my mom just got like this kind of pumpkin blanket. I might take it out later. Kind of looks weird to be completely honest, but it kind of fits the theme. So for now, I guess I'll just keep it there. The first thing that I've been really excited to set up was this kind of neon jack-o-lantern or just like neon pumpkin actually. It should light up orange. And I think this is the new neon light I'm gonna be adding. And I usually have a neon light all the way up here. Year, but for now it should look a lot better with like the kind of orange theme this one kind of lights up in a like yellow or blue but it definitely will not match the current theme of the setup so yeah i'm gonna put that pumpkin up there it shouldn't be too hard at all just put like one or two pins in it and then it'll already be ready I actually really like it to be honest. I completely forgot that the stem at the top was actually green. I thought it was just gonna be like a completely orange neon sign, but it's super bright. It's a lot brighter than I expected. If I zoom out, the camera doesn't really focus on it. It gets kind of like blurry almost. It's like so bright for the camera. For some reason, when I was trying to use these pins, it like would not, when I was trying to use these pins right here, the normal wall pins I usually use, it's probably not gonna focus up. I had to end up using like this extra like super glue tape I bought or whatever, and it actually finally stuck. It took a little bit longer than expected but it looks really nice actually like adds a, a little bit of a nice touch up there i've been wanting to set these up forever it's basically just some like led neon lights but it's like in a way where it looks a lot nicer than the normal ones the normal ones are usually like this so you can see like where they have all these little bulbs but this one is like super consistent all the way through so it was a little bit expensive but i think what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna wrap it all the way around the closet and i think in the exact same color sc scheme like the kind of orange and purple would look really nice Nice because this section of my room is definitely lacking as you guys can see compared to like the other parts of my room this one section is like has always been really really plain and I feel like I also have a bunch of other stuff like some um, more floodlights I want to add to this side because it's a little bit plain here these are actually a lot bigger than I expected them to be which is both good and bad the bad thing is I don't know if these small pins I have will be like strong enough to hold it but then also on the bright side since they're like a lot bigger than I expected the light should be a lot brighter and they should should look like really nice around the closet this is exactly 16.4 feet so it should like perfectly go around the closet and maybe it should go a little bit on that little corner over there there might be a little bit extra like leading towards the door The LED strip actually looks so nice around the closet. The only complaint I have is that it just is like one foot short. Of course, that's not Govi's fault at all. It's just kind of unlucky with the dimensions. Maybe I could have lifted this a little bit up so it would kind of be more symmetrical. But for now, I'll probably do that later, to be honest. But I really like this kind of orange and purple color scheme. It looks really nice around the room. Right now, I have my light off and it just like makes the room look so nice. Also, this is in red. It wasn't letting me put like a nice orange 
it was popping up as yellow. So for now, I'll just keep that as red. And then I also have a little bit of like a floodlight here that's giving a little bit of purple, but it's like not enough. As you guys can see, it's kind of hard to like kind of notice it. So I'm gonna be adding some more floodlights over there too, but the LED strip is looking really nice already over there. I think this wallpaper over here looks by far the best. So actually what I'm gonna try and do is make all four or I mean all three of the monitors the exact same wallpaper. I think it will actually look a lot nicer. It's already looking really nice. Then just like this. And yeah, I think that makes the setup look like literally 10 times better. I don't know why I didn't think of that at the beginning. This is how it's looking so far. I'm gonna turn the light back on just for now. And the thing I want to show you is this is a floodlight I was saying on camera. It actually pops up really like strong, but it doesn't shine too, too much over here. It's actually 15 watts, but don't ask me why, but I decided to buy a floodlight that was 100 watts. So technically, what is that? Like six times brighter. It should literally like make it blinding over here. It might not be the best thing when you walk into my room. Probably everyone will be blind but I think on the background of my YouTube videos, it'll look absolutely insane. I'm gonna box this so far and it actually looks extremely big. If you guys look at it, these are the other two floodlights I got and then this one is like two times the size. It's definitely like a big one. These floodlights are literally huge and the best thing is I actually didn't even notice that there were two in here. Like when I ordered them, I think they were like pretty expensive. They were like $50. Literally all I have to say is just, wow, look at this. I mean, this thing is so bright. It lights up this entire corner of the room some colors work a lot better for example like a dark uh blue like this looks really nice so this brightness right here is the lowest it can go the only reason i didn't want to have it extremely high is because it just kind of washed out all the colors over here so i think this is good right now these floodlights are actually extremely easy to set up and as you guys can see there's definitely a lot more color over here and i also have this one thing i forgot to turn on which was like the govi lamp it's kind of like some futuristic lamp but i have it pointing towards this way so it gives I don't really want to show myself in the mirror because it's really like weird But anyways, it gives like a little nice glow extra purple glow to this setup Just makes it look a lot nicer and then of course you have this extremely bright color here I think it actually would look better if I lowered the brightness just a little bit on camera I'm gonna lower it maybe to like there. I think that's good. It should match the other side I think that looks a lot nicer. I also went ahead and bought these Govi RGB strips It's basically just the basic ones. It's not like the nice ones I have around my my closet or anything like that just basic ones I'm gonna put these under my bed so it doesn't really matter I'll show you guys like what I'm kind of planning to do I'm planning just to put them maybe starting from this part where the LED lights or the floodlight is and I'm gonna have it going from around the edge of the bed all the way to the end over there it should cover the exact distance probably some of it will also go a little bit behind the bed just to add like a little bit of a nice glow now also add the other floodlight right over here I just added the LED strip and it's definitely making it look a lot nicer. If you guys have probably noticed, if I do a quick pan of the room, there's just like so many little lights all over the place that make the room just look so much better. And that's basically all it is. I'm just basically putting so many lights all over my room that it just makes it like pop out a lot, a lot more. So the next thing we have, we have these two um, RGB kind of um, the floodlights. They're just a little bit smaller than the other ones. We have one more GoV LED strips, exactly like the one I added under the bed but to be honest I don't know where else I can put it and I just don't want to like overdo it I was thinking maybe underneath like the window but to be honest I feel like if I put it there it just kind of be like overdoing it and then you would have like a cable going down from there or here and it just kind of make it look a little bit bad so I'm gonna add these two floodlights here and I also want to add this like little timer thingy here a lot of the guys um, a lot of like setup youtubers have this they usually keep it um on their setup or anything but I'm I'm just gonna put it right over here. So I tried adding the floodlight right over here, but it basically just completely got rid of the LED light strip. Like the light, it was completely washed out. So I decided to go and instead add it behind the desk right below it. So you can't really see it, but it adds a really nice glow under the desk and it also reflects perfectly onto the wall. So it doesn't wash out any of the color. It basically works out perfect. And I also went ahead and added this clock right above. It actually looks so much better than I expected 
expected. Basically, when I wake up from bed, I can just immediately see the time. It actually helps out so much. And it just matches the kind of a vibe on this part. I actually need to set up the time right now. It is 9.12. It's not focusing. Yeah, 9.12, as you guys can see. So I need to set up the time. But once I get that set up, it will be looking so good and it will be perfect. And with that, let's cue the Halloween setup cinematic. My entire room ended up looking so much better than expected. Just the purple and orange fits the setup so well, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. If you guys did enjoy this Halloween setup remake, make sure you drop a quick sub with notifications on. That way you don't miss any future videos. And if you don't like the videos that are coming in your inbox, you can unsub at any time. It's completely fine, but I promise I'm going to be putting... <laughs> What I meant to say is I'm going to be putting a lot more good quality videos just like this one, probably even better ones. I'm going to be posting a lot more vlogs and everything like that. So yeah, if you don't even drop a sub, at least make sure you drop a quick like. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. And yeah, that's about it. Peace.